In today's video, I'm going to give you a hands-on demonstration of why tomahawks are such a good tool to have with you in the woods. And we're going to do that by taking this tomahawk head that I got in an apaca box and make a handle for it using only this tomahawk head. You think I can do it? Let's find out next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, you know I like tomahawks. You've seen my videos about throwing tomahawks. I think it was Daniel Boone TV show. I miss I miss mistakenly called it Davy Crockett, which was a movie back when I was a kid, but Fess Parker was Daniel Boone, and he always threw a tomahawk um, in, in, in the uh, old TV show, and ever since I, I was a kid, I just thought that was really stinking cool. So, uh, last month in the Apaca box, I got this tomahawk head, and um, I thought, you know what, there's no handle with it. One of the, one of the uh, projects was to make a handle for it, so I've got this stick. I don't know what kind of wood it is. I found it, but it seems like it's perfectly shaped to, to be a perfect tomahawk handle. So what I thought we'd do is just to kind of try to show the versatility of this thing was to take nothing but this head and see if I can just use this as a cutting tool to create a handle for the head, which, um, you know, instead of using a knife or axe or something else. So I did touch the edge up a little bit, which I think is okay. It was pretty sharp to begin with, but so that's what we're going to do uh, coming up right after this word from one of our sponsors. This video is sponsored by my friends at clickbelts.com where you can save 15% by using the coupon code SOP15 at checkout. Clickbelts feature genuine Cobra buckles and they are, by the way, the only place I know of that you can get anodized Cobra buckles for the colors. They have a full lifetime warranty and they are sewn right here in the USA in the great state of Texas. And they have some of the best customer service I've ever seen. They've even got the really cool TSA friendly poly cobra buckle now. So if you're looking for a very, very strong, very cool belt, I encourage you to check out the folks at clickbelts.com. Don't forget, use the coupon code SOP15 to save 15%. Okay, we are back. Thanks for sticking around. Those sponsorships really do help keep the lights on here at Survival on Purpose. So without further ado, I'm going to take this stick. Again, I don't know what kind of wood it is. It's pretty stinking hard and dry, as you can tell. Um, we're going to see if I can, if I can hack myself out a handle, a functional handle for this tomahawk. And then once we get it all hacked out, you know we gotta, we gotta make sure that we got a good balance on it, right? So we're gonna check out the old balance orientation and rotation device right there. Make sure our, our total tomahawk setup is balanced. So let's take you down the old stump top and get to doing some of that tomahawk handle stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna try to work fast. I gotta leave for church in about an hour tonight, but First thing I'm going to try to do is you can see that this size holes. This side is a little bigger than this side. And the way tomahawks are designed is this thing slides up on the handle like so. So I've got this piece of wood here, which looks pretty solid. I'm trying to get out of having to cut it twice, but both ends are kind of split. Uh, it's going to have to be whittled all the way down to slide up on here. So I'm just going to try to find a smaller piece part of it and maybe like from right here. So first thing I'm going to try to do is just uh, use this thing like a hand axe and chop it off. Like so. Hard stinking wood, man. There's one. I'm going to go about be a short tomahawk we're going to take it about right here there's a knot there i don't want to deal with so go right underneath that knot so we got the handle roughly shaped out now we just got to make it fit this has got to fit up on there like so it needs just a little bit so I think for that, we're just going to start shaving. I 
probably could have picked a little bit harder wood for this, it would have been a lot harder. <laughs> it's maybe the hardest wood I've ever seen. If I just scrape it. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and I've got it down to there. As you can see, it's gonna take a lot more because the, 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 the concept is you want to slide up to, to uh, this end, the other end, so that it's, it's, it's flared out a little bit here so it can't come off of this end. So when you're swinging, it doesn't fly off on you. You put it on this end, and unlike an ax, which means you have to have a spreader here to secure it, the uh, centrifugal force of the swing helps secure it. So you gotta keep carving. Pretty sure Daniel Boone had a prop department to do this for him. Let's shoot a little bit here. Oh wait, I've been in the woods for uh, 50 years and never had to be time before. I think this is a job best left to when you don't have to be somewhere. But. Oh, looky here, we're all the way up to there. We're getting there, man, we're getting there. <laughs> we're like 20% of the way, right? You there. Now, I'll just tell you, if I'd have forged this thing, I'd have made the head bigger. <laughs> okay, so I'm down to here now from a combination of, <laughs> it's not exactly straight, but it'll twist up on there. A combination of this and a combination of this. Holding this up kind of at an angle like so. And then just holding it over and, and just using it kind of like a plane to kind of baton off <coughs> little splits off of it. And I just want to get it up to the very end. And I should be good. I don't want to take too much off because I don't want the head coming off the other end, right? So got to just kind of get just a little bit of that flare off there. Let's see. I think we might be getting somewhere now. Really close anyway. Uh-oh. Hope I didn't go too much. That'd be a real bummer. Let's do this. Put a wedge in there like so. Got a little wedge in there, so. I did screw up a little bit, but there you go. So, got to get ready to go to church, but let's, uh, you know, we got to test it, right? Okay, well, there you go. And I got a little bit of a hurry, took a little too much off this end, and just got a little aggressive trying to get ready to go to church. And, uh, but I, but I put a little wedge in there, jammed it down. Seems to be holding pretty good. You know, we got to check the balance, right? For some reason, it didn't stick. Let's try again. Let's try it in the uh, other one. Get you some, Mingo. Okay, we're going to call this one balanced. And uh, hopefully, actually, it took me about 40 minutes to do that with just a tomahawk head so gotta say um the tapping really made a difference again got a little bit of a hurry on the end there kind of got a little too much off but the wedge seems to be holding well and seems to be balanced so there you go hopefully this uh kind of illustrates in a very hands-on way the the absolute utility of a tomahawk in the woods because 
Um, really, if all you got is the head, you can make yourself a handle for it. You don't have to have any other tools. So hopefully this has been helpful. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and Saturday and sometimes random videos throughout the week. If you don't want to miss a single one, I invite you to subscribe to my weekly email newsletter where I post all the previous week's videos, plus any, any, any deals and opportunities that I think you might be interested in or just some cool news. So you can subscribe by going to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe, or there'll be a link in the video description below. I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.